so here we go with round one. And on one side, clearly the more well-rounded fighter. Yet when we sat down with him on Thursday, first words out of his mouth, he ain't gonna submit me. I'm gonna try to take him down. Oh, my goodness. Wow. And you laugh just like that because you know how much of a joke this is. You want to avoid the grappling with this guy at all costs. I know he has bravado. I know he has a big ego. But it would benefit him to fight this fight and make it as easy as possible. Trying to go to the body now with the kick, that one misses. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Nice connection there by Nate Diaz. Not a guy you want to let get going here on the feet, DC. No, because it's all downhill with Nate, right? It's the activity that will overwhelm his opponents, and this looks like the start of that. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Trying to double up on that jab. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind an educated jab. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Nate Diaz. Big kick lands. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Nice body shot. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Maybe a cut to the left of the nose. Beautiful leg kick throw. Nice one two there. And he caught the kick. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pull it down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Nice kick to the midsection. Diaz gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those are easy. Shades of Daniel Cormier slicing through that goal. Unbelievable. I love it. Like a knife through butter. What a great job, Pass. Well, you got to stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the court. Are you ready? Are you ready? Here we are, early round two. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, nice combination of strikes there in terms of the accuracy. I mean, that's exactly what a coach is looking for. That's exactly. It's like the guy is hitting ads. It's like he's hitting focus mitts, but instead, he's dancing all over his opponent's pitch. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well that if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Nice strike. Oh, nice. Right there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. Done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, tie, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Try to establish that jab. 
man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Diaz. He's in close, so instead of... And an immediate transition to the judo throw right into side control. He's in side control. He's got a ton of options. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. And maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kicks. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Nice punch by Diaz. Oh, right, then a left. Man, doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Time this shot's pretty well. Huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow up with him. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Oh, how clean is that jab by Diaz? So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. All right, round three coming up next. Third round underway. Nice kick. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Ooh, what a punch. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. Man, get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Well, just as he did in the previous round, Picture perfect body shot there. He's got a nice job. Then the takedown and scramble to his feet. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Real sneaky body kick. Nice straight punch. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Oh, now. Oh! He was hurt. Oh! oh Huge right hand! hand. He's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need to control posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes at your point. Looks like he's trying for submission now. And he's out. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on him. He's gonna attack on bar here. Why is he not recognizing this right now? He's gotta recognize this is dangerous. This is a dangerous position. And this might just be a matter of time. 